So the end of our tour through ASP's language at different levels from different views is at hand. And um, let's just sum up. And here are some things I would love you to remember. First of all, what are integrity constraints? What are choice rules? What are cardinality rules? What are weight rules, right? So we looked at this in quite some details. Uh, and you should have, of course, gathered an intuitive understanding of what this means, but I think also a, a more crisp understanding by actually seeing the translations back into normal rules. And on the fly, actually, what are cardinality and weight constraints? Another concept that is very handy in, when it comes to modeling are conditional literals. And again, this is something that you, you, will, you, will, you will get an, es an esteem for these guys, actually, once you do more modeling, because they come in really handy. Then uh, we talked about optimization and uh, actually we talked about multi-objective optimization and you can, you can instruct the solver to do that with optimization statements like minimize and maximize or weak constraints. Then we went actually uh, really on the, on, the, on the more detailed level through Gringo's input language which actually is an extension of the ASP standard ASP Core 2. Uh, and last but not least, I've given you a glance on the intermediate languages, S models and ASPIF. And again, it was a glance. And with S models, I just wanted to show you a little bit how things, de de uh, how things evolved and that the choice actually that we made here of looking at integrity constraints, choice, cardinality and weight rules was not arbitrary because this was the choice actually people did 30 years ago in Helsinki when they implemented the very first ASP solver called S models. Okay. Now that's it. So here we go again. Auf Wiedersehen. And tomorrow isn't staying out. I'll be back without a doubt. So see you and take care.